guys, it's Monique from EarlyLearningMom.com. I just thought I'd come and do a video about our learning binder. I use this binder with my two and a half year old. We've been using it with him since he was about two. Um, it contains all sorts of flashcards, little poems, um, just things we can go through really quickly during once or twice during our day. Um, I kind of thought, you know, I really enjoyed Glenn Doman's um, um, encyclopedia knowledge program, but it's really hard to implicate into our day. So I just thought, you know what, even if I'm exposing him one or two times a day, these items are going to stick in his head. And um, I figured I'd put them in a binder. So basically, it's just a regular, you know, one inch binder that you get from your dollar store, or you can check out the thrift store. I found lots of binders there for super cheap, 10 cents a pop. And I just put some dividers in it, and I just flip through the book really quickly with him. We do these follow um, Basically, I'll take my finger and I'll go zip, zip, zip. And it's just to get his eyes to follow. And just, it helps with pre-reading skills. Um, I believe it was Pamela from Tweedlewinks talks about this. So we have a few different ones that we do. And then I move into a little poem. And I printed these off of a website. You probably could go into the uh, pick up any sort of poem that you might like. And um, then I have some little uh, grammar lessons that we just talk about. Like right now, we're just talking about nouns, um, explaining what a noun is, using it in a sentence, just having fun with it. And then we move on to our flashcards. And these are some just homemade flashcards that I made when Zakari, or actually Wesley, was a baby. And we just flip through them and we talk about them. And after we go through those, you here. We move on to our music notes. And these flashcards, these are Glenn Doman flashcards um, that I ordered from the Institute. So we will talk about Do, Re, and we go through all of the solfege. Afterwards, we like to work on time. So right now we're working on hours. Um, little Z is very interested in the clock right now. So we talk about like 11 o'clock six o'clock and we flip through them really fast just like you would with a Glenn Doman flashcard and afterwards once we've done that we move on to our touch math and I will just guide his hand one plus one equals two and I will we'll find where the touch pots are and we talk about them and I show him where to place them just using his hand and he's two so it's just input, input, input. Right now, it's not about, okay, what's one plus one? Come on, little Z, tell me. That's not what we want. We just want to tell them one plus one equals two. Um, you know, one plus two equals three. And, you know, I do wait if I feel like he is going to give me an answer or he wants to guide his hand himself. I just let him explore. But really, right now, it's about input. So if he gives any output, great. If not, then we just keep putting input. And so we, we might not do all the pages. I feel, I feel them out to see, like, you know, is he into this today? Maybe we'll just do one page. But if he's really absorbed with it, we'll sit there and we'll do a couple pages. And then we put the binder away. So this is our early learning binder. I mean, you could make it fancy. You could decorate it. Um, little Z doesn't care. So I just save my time. And then I switch out pages. You know, once we've done something for a few weeks or, you know, he seems to already know it, I pull it out and I put some new content in. And really, your early learning binder can be whatever you're trying to show your children. It doesn't have to be what mine has. Um, you know, you could put reading words in there. You can put just one page math facts. You could put, um, if your child's really interested in dogs, you can make dog flashcards. Um, really have fun with it. It's just a tool so you have all your flashcards in one area. Um, you're able to quickly go through a lesson. This binder takes, depending on the day, takes me three to five minutes to go through, if that. And it engages him, but 
it's also really convenient for me. I like to take the quick way. I want my son to learn as much as he can, but I don't want to be sitting there for hours and hours prepping material. So it just saves me some time. So if you're looking for a quick way to incorporate flashcards and other um, information for input into your child, check out just make a binder, have it all ready to go. You can stick it in your diaper bag if you're going to be out all day and you need something for the waiting room or you just keep it in the kitchen if meal times are the time that you do your lessons. It's really flexible. So that's just one of my ideas, one of the things I use with my little guy. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to check out my blog at earlylearningmom.com. The description will be, you can check the link in the description. Also, if you want to find me on Facebook and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know if you're liking these videos, if you have any questions for me. Um, I have been blogging for a while, so if you're one of my regular readers, um, let me know if you like these videos or if there's anything that I've blogged about in the past that you would like me to explain in more detail in a video. So thanks for watching. Bye.